Welcome into another edition of Camp Credentials all the way from Minnesota where the Cardinals are having joint practices with the Vikings ahead of their final preseason game this Saturday. Alongside Paul Cavisi, I'm Danny Sarek. This is Camp Credentials powered by Cox. Paul, we're approaching the final few days of the preseason. So when you think back to preseason as a whole, practices, games, on offense, who was a player that has stood out to you? I think going in, we had a big question mark about center and yelled to Froholt, right? We call him Magnus Ver Froholt because he's a throwback. He's that strong man type. He has Atlas stones in his home weight room, okay? But it's not just his ability to hold the point of attack, but it's what he's shown with Colt McCoy especially, even with young Clayton Toon, just being the quarterback of the offensive line. We've seen him go viral, uh, but they talk about just his ability to handle the center position. And you know the first four games of the year, you're going to get some stout defensive fronts, so you feel a lot better now that Yelda Froholt has uh, really come through so far in camp. Rookie wide receiver Michael Wilson has also impressed in practices. He's been taking consistent first team reps, looked good in the preseason games. The coaches talk about Michael Wilson not just making the catches, but making the plays on film, blocking, physical. The fact he hasn't played a lot in the preseason games tells you all you need to know. The coaches already trust him. I think he's already going to be a regular in the regular season. Let's move to defense. Who's looked good to you? A lot of guys, but that's I, I, good. I, and, and, no, and I'll tell you what, I'm going to go with LJ Collier just because of the upside, former first round pick. He did not flourish in Seattle for whatever reason, but he talks about how it wasn't a good fit. If the fit and the system are better with the Cardinals, look out because he still has all the ability in the world. Rookie cornerback Keytrell Clark has looked good. You're talking about another young player getting first and second team reps who seems to be making the most out of his opportunity. No doubt, and that is the biggest question mark, I think, position group-wise, is corner. How deep are you? How many legitimate NFL corners do you have? And if Keytrell Clark can be a find in the sixth round, that is an absolute steal. When you're having joint practices the way the Cardinals and the Vikings are this week, what are the pros of having those joint practices, specifically for the starters? You know, I talked to Josh Woods about this. He said you have a game, another game, followed by the preseason game, meaning the intensity of these practices. It's a game-like atmosphere. JG talking to him said, you know what, the nervous system reacts if you're a player like a game. So it's really good prep in that way. You're definitely not going through the motions and you're out here in a, <clears throat> a swampy heat. You know what, it gets you regular season ready. <laughs> that mustache too, Paul. You're gonna maybe a little feel that humidity, that heat a little more. This is not winning behavior. We apologize in advance <laughs> for the mustache. It's not gonna make the final cuts and I'm getting too many Ted Lasso comparisons right now. It's gotta go. You look great, Paul. For more coverage from these joint practices out here in Minnesota, check out azcardinals.com as well as our social channels. For Paul Cavici, I'm Danny Sprague. Thanks so much for tuning in to Camp Credentials.